Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> Cynthia Calderon here. Okay, so I am going to go live and I'm going to show you how I make my guacamole. Um, it's very super simple. Every time I post pictures of my food with my guacamole, everybody always comments or messages me and asks me how the heck do I make my guacamole. So I'm about to make my guacamole right now because I'm going to eat it with some fajitas. So I've already got my avocado. So I've got three avocados cut already. So here they are cut already. And then I got my salt and I get a lemon. So I get three avocados and one lemon. And then you need some salt. Super simple, right? So this is how, if you guys don't know how to take this seed out, I just hit it with the knife and I twist it. Bam, comes off. So here we go. And these look good. My husband picked them out at H-E-B. They look amazing. H-E-B clue. <laughs> no, there's oh, no way. Lake, Lake Jackson. Jackson. Hey, Teresa. How you doing? So. Oh! My seed flew. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then I what I do with my avocado is I go ahead and I cut this down inside the pit or the skin of the avocado, and then I slice it the other way. So it makes like little squares in there. You see that? So that's what I do. So I'm going to do that for all of these really quick. Really quick like. So I do that for all of them. And then, I'm making a lot of guacamole because I love avocados. How many of you guys like avocados that are watching? Let me know. Drop an avocado emoji in the comments. I know there's like only a few of you guys on. So, if you're watching the replay, drop replay and an avocado emoji. Okay, so I have all of these. And then... I get a fork because I'm also going to be using this to, to mush my stuff. So I've got them all crisscrossed in there. And then I just scoop it out like this onto my bowl. Bam. So I'm going to do that to all of my halves. Super simple so I don't have to cut, cut them. They're already cut inside of here. Now you can add things like cilantro or jalapeno tomato whatever you want to add in here I don't add it because my kids won't eat it they'll eat it just plain the way I'm making it right now that's why I put super simple guacamole so I always use three avocados no matter what there we go and these avocados have so more potassium than a banana so avocados are good for muscle cramps and stuff like that too not just bananas and if you're keto or low carb you shouldn't be eating bananas either so now i get the fork and i start smushing what happened, what happened? Uh -oh. something happened upstairs uh oh so i mush all of this in here just like that until I get it to the consistency that I want or I just make sure it's all mushed together and there's no like chunks in there unless you like it chunky you can mush it however you want so just mush it down hey Thea how you doing I'm making simple guacamole super simple I'm mushing it right now on my fork I don't like to use a mashed potato musher because and then I feel like I leave a lot of it on the mush, the mashed potato musher, so I just use a fork. Okay, here we go. So after I get it down to the consistency that I want, I add some salt, and I use pink Himalayan salt because this is um, keto friendly. You don't want to use table salt, but you don't want to use a lot of this either because it is um, a whole lot saltier than table salt. All right, and then I mix that around. You eat avocado all the time? <laughs> then I have, look at this cool little thing I have. I got it from Tupperware, I think, a long time ago. But you, I put my uh, lemon in there and I just squeeze it. 
the, a whole lemon in here. So I make sure I squeeze it really good to get all the lemon juice out. And before you cut your lemon, you want to roll it out and get all the juices. So this way I use this because I don't get any seeds in there. And I just get all the juice. Look at that. It looks so good. Hey, Karina. So I squeeze that in there. Add the salt and then I mix all of this up. And like I said, you can add whatever you want. You can add jalapeno, tomato, cilantro, what a, onion, whatever you want. But I make mine super simple because my, my family and my kids won't eat it if all the other stuff is in there. Occasionally I'll make it if I don't want nobody else to make it. So here is my guacamole. Super good. And I'll taste it to make sure I have enough salt in there and lemon. It's right on the money, dude. All right. That's how I make my guacamole, guys. Super simple. You don't need to go buy none. No store-bought stuff. Buy you some avocados and make it yourself. All right. Bye.